Good morning, AP Psych students. Uh, today we have a lesson where you have to learn that the toilet is like a neuron. Uh, so the whole thing, um, this is first developed by Mrs. Jan Daniel of Fayette County High School in Georgia, continued by Don Leach. The whole thing is called depolarization. Okay, this is what we're learning here. Um, it has an all or none principle. Just like uh, your toilet, your neuron only fires all at once or um, none at all. Now I know there's some of those toilets that are like, you know, number one, number two, but we're not there. If you listen, the toilet is actually um, refilling. This is called the refractory period. It has to, you know, recharge. It has to reload. The water's got to reload just like your neuron. There's also the direction of the impulse, uh, meaning that it only goes one way. So you hope, just like you know, the axons are going to flush the water, flush the, the, the neurotransmitters out, and then the dendrites would be the sewer that contains all the stuff that gets it. There's a threshold. You can push this handle a little bit before it actually flushes, before you can push it down all the way. Right now, the neuron of the toilet has resting potential, um, and then the action potential is when we flush the water. And then this is also a sodium-potassium pump. Um, so if it's, it's a resting potential, it has a combination of negatively charged uh, chloride and positively charged potassium. When it is flushed, which is like the neuron, um, the sodium flows in and pushes the potassium out. Um, and you get a replenishing of the water uh, or the neuron. So just, just, just like a neuron, you need to do this yourself. You need to upload a video of you explaining. Uh, and you'll have a document to help you along the way uh, how a toilet in your house is like a neuron. Thank you.